The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself, O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went to whom justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself shall be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. How can we know that the prayers which we offer to God is pleasing to you, pleasing to God? How do we know? Prophet Hosea said, It is steadfast love, not a sacrifice, I desire. The prayers and sacrifices we offer to God mean nothing to God unless they spring from a heart that is full of love of God and the love of our neighbor. How can we expect God to hear our prayers if we do not approach Him with a humble and a contrite heart and spirit? So that is why Jesus told this parable of the tax collector and the Pharisee. Jesus compares two different approaches and attitudes toward prayer. The Pharisee praised himself before God for everything he did and even accused his neighbor, the tax collector. In fact, he exalted himself at the expense of the other. The tax collector, on the other hand, he stood up, actually in the back of the temple. He was not even able to raise his head toward heaven. He humbled himself and prayed, O oh God, I am a sinner, be merciful to me. Jesus says, the latter, the tax collector, went to home justified before God because of his humility and contrite heart and spirit. Not the Pharisee, because he exalted himself at the expense of his neighbor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us pray. As we stand before the Lord, let us place our needs, our prayers before Him and ask for His blessing. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, religious and laity, that they may always follow Jesus, listen to His teachings faithfully. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace throughout the world, in our own homes, in our homeland and also in all those places torn by war and violence. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember in a special way all those who are sick and suffering, our own loved ones in our families and members of our parish community, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus in their pains and sufferings and get well from their illness. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us keep in silence our own intentions and also the intention of this Mass. This Mass is being offered for Marie, 
Many friends in my, my prayer, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers of your faithful people, bless us, and help us to follow you and imitate your love and goodness in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you through the divine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink, blessed be God forever. With the humble spirit and the contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. O oh God, by whose grace it comes to pass that we may approach your mysteries with the minds made pure, grant we pray that in reverently hand, handing them on, we may offer you a fitting homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. All ways sent everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness, and so glorify you with the countless angels, as with the one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new fold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save a savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy <clears throat> to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered in the one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Lay Sufit, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Winifred Marie Maguire, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. <clears throat> deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, the gracious, the grant, her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord, be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us receive it. May the receiving of your body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ not bring away the judgment and the condemnation, but through your living mercy be for your protection and your glory and the kingdom of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God.
We call to him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and breath of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Now permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The communion song. The tax collector stood at the distance, beating his breast and saying, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us pray. May we truly revere, O oh merciful God, those holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us and may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Hold out to your faithful people, Lord, the right hand of heavenly assistance that they may seek you with all their heart and merit the landing of what they ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended now. Let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, and have a safe and blessed weekend. For our recession, we will sing, Jesus, remember me. Jesus, remember me.